Hi and welcome to Enchantment of Eternity's quick review for The Sinner. This video is a part of a series of videos where I give a quick spoiler free review of a show currently airing. These videos are intended more for those who haven't seen the show but those who have will know more of what I'm talking about. This video is where I cover The Sinner. So, The Sinner was a one-season show based off of a novel. Some people refer to it as a mini-series, but there are eight episodes, so I don't really consider that a mini-series, but it was only intended to last one season, as it covers the novel completely within one season. And unlike a show like The Leftovers, it's not the kind of show that can extend beyond the novel, as the story very clearly concludes at the end. It was marketed to me in the country I live in as a Netflix original, which is how I thought of it while watching it, but I later learned it was actually produced by the USA Network, which is uh, where it aired in the US. Netflix simply acquired the international rights. But this happens sometimes, and the show is presented to international audiences as if it's a Netflix show. Like, I would have no idea Star Trek Discovery was not a Netflix show had it not been for everyone complaining about CBS All Access online. But it's hard for me to imagine watching the show weekly with commercial breaks, and I do think that would lessen my experience of the show, as I do think it's better to binge a show like this as it plays out as one elongated movie rather than an episodic series. In other words, it could be a film, but it's just too long to fit into uh, two and a half hours. And many say this show plays out like a typical thriller murder mystery in many ways it does uh it reminds me a lot of thrillers like zodiac gone girl and all those subpar th thrillers with ashley judd that came out in the early 2000s however in my opinion it is the best of these uh, types of movies that I've ever seen and thus stands out as the best of its kind. In terms of television, it reminded me a lot of the HBO one season show, The Night Of, which was getting a lot of buzz, but in my humble opinion, The Sinner is far superior uh, to The Night Of, which kind of fell flat after its first episode, whereas this show is totally engaging throughout its entire run. So, getting into uh, what the show is about, what I'm about to say may sound like a spoiler, but it happens within the first 15 minutes of the first episode, so not a spoiler. Anyway, the show is about a young mother who is apparently in a happy marriage, but seems troubled for some unknown reason, and one day, while sitting at a crowded beach with her family in the middle of the day, she sees a young couple making out in front of her, and she just snaps and stabs the young man to death for no apparent reason. So this isn't a murder mystery in the sense of who done it because the answer is plain and clear. The question that the show asks for the remainder of its run is why? As there does seem to be a lot more to this than what appears. Now, sometimes a film can get uh, like pretentious or philosophical when as asking why does one kill someone else and get into territory of pseudo psychology, uh, which I really don't like, but that's not at all what happens in this show. There are very specific reasons on why she did what she did and it becomes apparent very early on that they have to do with repressed memories. And the way the story slowly unfolds over the course of the eight episodes is absolutely brilliant and had me engaged throughout and moreover it made total and complete sense and was an excellent use of character development. Also you have a story of a detective played by Bill Pullman where he can tell there's more to this murder than it appears and at first his guesses are pretty much all wrong but eventually he forms a bond with the murder suspect and I thought this played out beautifully totally brought uh, the progression of their relationship and I must say uh, it brought me to tears by the end of the show. However, I heard many critics complain that the show portrayed an unrealistic version of how memory works. They would describe a situation where someone would say, remember harder, and then the person would remember more. So I kept looking out for scenes like that, but none never came. I, for one, had no issue with the way they played a memory recall because it was dealing with repressed memories, which is really different than someone just remembering what happened a year ago. And, and at no point in time in the entire show did anyone ever say, remember harder. Instead, they used methods like hypnosis, familiar sights, familiar sounds and smells, which are known to spark memory recall. So I disagree with this particular criticism, but hey, what do I know? 
It's a shame. I saw this show after I did my end of the year top 10 videos as this show would have surely made my top 10 best shows of 2017. In fact, I, I'll say definitively here that I would have bumped Black Sails uh, to put the center in the number 5 slot. I also would have mentioned this a lot in my awards video for like script writing, editing, uh, Jessica Bill and Bill Pullman for acting, and most importantly this would win the award for best use of a song in the show as I was super impressed with the way they used the song that triggered her homicide in the show. It became a staple and would evoke a lot of emotions in me whenever I heard this song so it was really well done. The only drawbacks of the show was the side plot involving Bill Pullman's character and his marriage troubles which involve his obsession with a mistress. Some may say this added to his character, but I was so invested in the main plot involving the murder mystery, I literally skipped over most of these scenes because they were just not interesting enough and did feel like filler, like it was just there to take up the run time of the episode, and I just wanted to get back to the main storyline. But that's just me. I mean, I do think they fleshed out Pullman's character a bit more and made his relationship to Beale's character a bit more understandable, but maybe they could have cut back on these scenes a lot, but that's just me. Anyway, so my rating for the center out of 10 is a 10 the best. Absolutely love this show. I can say with no hyperbole that this is one of the best murder mystery thriller stories I've ever seen. It fits together absolutely perfectly, builds on fully fleshed out, well-rounded characters. Even some of the supporting cast are completely three-dimensional, dynamic characters. And the way the show builds suspense and keeps you engaged is a thing of beauty. So I'll always remember this as one of the best thrillers that I've ever seen. So that's it for my quick review of The Sinner. Be sure to check out my channel as I do many more quick reviews on shows currently airing, as well as cover many other shows like Star Trek, Game of Thrones, The Expanse, Black Mirror, Discovery, and more. So be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with all of that. And thanks a lot for watching.